Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. And it's for whenever you feel like you're drawn to the title and the picture that it's resonating with you, that it's meant for you. I am going to pull Scrabble tiles at the end of the reading, so do stick around till the end. And always watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. There's always going to be something in there in your moon and Venus sign, especially when it comes to love, okay? And then I'm still doing that four-person free reading giveaway for the month of December. So new, viewer, new viewers, um, cross-watchers, I am so grateful that you guys are here. So please go ahead and subscribe. Each month I do do a giveaway. Last month was a $100 gift card giveaway. The month before that was 12 free readings which was a little much for me. So this month it's going to be four free readings. All you need to do is leave a gift emoji um, or a present emoji. Be a subscriber. Leave the emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of December. Each time you do, I will add you to a list of names and you, um, I will choose four random people to receive a 10 to 15 minute reading, whether love, general, or messages from spirit. It's your choice. All right, guys. And do have your notifications turned on for YouTube because that's how I will reach out to you initially. Here's the first card. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out. And a message for, for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So Scorpio, there is someone thinking of you as this reading is going on. And that's amazing. Let me set my timer. Okay. All right. Chop wood, getting rid of things that no longer resonate in your life. There's many cleansing rituals on YouTube. That's where I get all of mine. Sage, um, Palo Santo stick, pay, uh, sage, lavender. Just look up the cleansing rituals and follow through with them. Be all in when you're listening to them. And go through the prompts. Cleanse out whatever is not meant to be in your vision anymore. Anything from an ex, pictures lying around your mirror that make you think of them when you're completely separated and over, just put them away. Clear out those chapters and allow them to close so you can embark on something brand new. Not saying they won't return, just you'll be ready for the new energy. And it, yeah, see you're in between worlds with someone. Nothing is happening with someone currently. So we have a three and a six. The six can be broken down to three, three. Three, three, three is about building. It's about establishing um, grounding, building on something new. Perfect timing. Finding direction. You're being shown the way. And last but not least, festive travels. You're in for an adventure. For those of you that are viewing it right now, like just as I, you know, upload it and release it, you could be traveling for the holidays. You could be traveling home and you might have been in connection with this person. They could be traveling for work or for family and you run into them if you there is some distance between the two of you i'm going to pull your energy and the person showing up in this reading their energy energy memories of love the six of cups so this is somebody that you were in a connection with definitely 
from the past, which I kind of knew that because they're already telling you, like sending out that vibe that they love you. So I feel that you're replaying um, old voicemails to feel connected to them. You may be looking at past photos, journeys that the two of you experienced together have been on, um, looking at old text messages. It is possible that you could be also dealing with a water sign, fellow Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And they're definitely showing up as the divine masculine, um, the emperor. It could be that they're, you know, you know, it could be that they knew their worth, you know, their, this connection wasn't going in the energy that they were, they were anticipating it going. They know what they want. They didn't want to play games. Very strategic, but very logical. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. At the bottom of this deck is prosperity begins. So I do feel there is going to be a breakthrough, a coming together. Ready to go the distance. situation like I said I'm getting like the idea that they're with this car here they could be a distance away from you body of water different country some traveling leaving the rough waters behind and coming towards you following that light restoring peace and harmony I feel someone went emotionally unavailable yeah see what, what's blocking that is I feel like when they came, the two of you were together, there was a lot of intimacy, passion, sex. Everything was great until you talked to com communication. You may not have been the one ready for it, Scorpio. See, with them being the divine masculine, being the emperor energy, they know what they want in terms of a commitment. They don't want to play games. And I know this is someone very near and dear to your heart from the past. But you may not have been ready for this connection when it happened. Yeah, there's like a distance between the two of you. A wall up. Keeping each other at arm's length. Is the past energy. Keeping an eye on one another. I feel like you might receive communication or you may be reaching out to them. Um, you may be follow each other on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. But you keep an eye on one another to see where you guys are at currently. But there is definitely no talking. What you're about to embrace is the Four of Wands. So there is going to be walls rebuilt. There is going to be um, that connection of stability. Like I said, long term. That's why I'm saying chop wood, man. Get out all of what no longer belongs in your energy. Even if it's from this person returning, just get it out and work on you in the interim. There's this energy of you needing to be in your power. So yes, you are thinking about the best and they do hold a special place in your heart, Scorpio. But there's also the need to be in your power. Um, be connected to the universe. Meditate or pray to your spirit guides because there is a solid foundation coming in. I feel like things are about to spice it up and you're not aware of it. There is going to be a confession of feelings. Feelings being hidden on both your parts. What is the overall outcome? Yeah, see, there's going to be a leap of faith taken and they're coming in very quickly. Could be dealing with airy... Uh, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but they might have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, overall outcome spirit. There it is, the confession of love. But I feel like there's definitely holding back right now, but there will be movement. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment.
You know, it also could be that you, this person was very, you know, in your heart from the get-go. And maybe they, showing up as the divine masculine, they have things that they need to accomplish for themselves in their, like within their goals, their career, their stability before they could offer you long-term. See, what was like now dark is going to become so lit, like the light is going to shine. It's going to be colorful. You just got to get rid of the dark energy, the negative energy, the stale energy. The five of swords. So it's like, if you're thinking about this person, you're missing them. Negative thinking. Even if you had a fight and they were the last words you spoke to one another. You got to heal that and focus on your stability. Start to thrive for yourself. So it could be a water sign because we got Queen of Cups here, but I feel like you may very well extend yourself to them. Maybe you weren't in the best energy. And be honest with yourself, Scorpio. It is okay. Only you know that. You're watching the reading. You say to yourself, you know what? I wasn't in the best energy. I wasn't ready for a relationship. And now you want to extend yourself to this person. For some of you, you may have met this person through your place of employment but for others of you, it was a connection from the past where it doesn't have to be an ex, but you leaned on one another for support, for advice. It was a comforting connection. And there's that moon. Why is the moon here twice, Spirit? All right. Well taken. Three of Wands. It's like you both see yourself in each other's future. And there is that soulmate connection, four of wands twice. It's possible you may have even lived with this person and decided to end it to go your separate ways. But I feel soulmate connection, a solid foundation coming in. An apology. Fairness. And there will be healing and a reconciliation. All right, let's see what else, guys. I feel like it's going to be a phone call. All right, for Scorpio and this person's spirit. See, there's the fear. I really feel like it was on you. And yes, the answer to this question is yes. So if you're thinking about someone specifically, it is this person that is sending you that message. Maybe you dealt with things, and you'll know. Maybe you dealt with things in the past that has you fearful. Maybe people took advantage of you. Maybe they had broken promises. But there is an awakening here. For some of you, it is a twin flame connection. So if you're dealing with... Um, if you know you're in a twin flame connection and you're dealing with a divine masculine, one of you was not ready for the commitment. However, you I feel like there's one of you is admitting right now that you love the other and that you're thinking of them, but the other is hiding back their emotion. And there is going to be that clarity set. There's going to be emotion spoken, truth revealed, healing energy for the two of you for this reconciliation. All right, let's see. Let's see a card of timing or what else can come through to clarify this is your reading. And then remember, Scrabble tiles, guys. So your initials, their initials. Magnifying glass, larger than life. Get more information. This person could have red hair, but like I said, you are each other's go-to person. Bad day, good day. You couldn't wait to share the news from with each other. This also, also could be a friendship where you knew that there was more feeling there. There was attraction, but you never spoke of it. I feel like one of you is very well known, very powerful. Maybe um, you like a boss or a CEO. They have their own business.
declaration of their love. Manifesting it and it's in front of you. And it could have been an email or a text message or a direct message saying, you know, it's not you, it's me. Um, I'm just not where I want to be in life. I need to accomplish more. And then I'll reach out to you. If you're, if you're single, great. And I feel like you both have taken a break from dating. I feel like it was a hard ending for both of you. And you just took that time to get out of your head and relax, meditate or pray to regain your balance separately. But I feel like a leveling up on financially and goal and goal wise for one of you and the other from overcoming your fears and being ready for what is to come in this connection. I watch you on social media. See what I mean? I watch you on social media and the internet. It's my way of staying close to you to find out more about you. It's like they're keeping an eye on you to make sure you're okay. Even in the separation, you both wanted each other to succeed and, and thrive. We need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect condition for our reunion. See, I do feel reconciliation 100%. Bottom of the deck, I long to sweep you off your feet and just let you know I love you. I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to us being together. I care about you even when I act like I don't. See what I mean? You both want each other to thrive. I'm hiding my true feelings because I'm vulnerable. And please send me your energetic support. Use the frequency to uplift me because I need your help. For some of you, this is definitely a soulmate connection. All right. O, T, I already see Todd. D, P, I see pot. For those of you who like to do pot often. L, F, I, V, H, S, I see love, D, so there's a couple Ds, a couple S's, couple three Ds, N, U, W, I see Walt, an A, A, so we have every vowel, G, G, I see G, no, I don't see G, G, we only have one I. D, four Ds, guys. Empty Scrabble tile, so now I do see G, G. I see it anyway, because now there's two I's, and there's two A's. So I see Dave. I see Nat for Natalie. Natalia. Walt. Pat. I see dad. Maybe you were dealing with somebody that was a dad. They have children. Sophia. Mm. Heather. Saul. But do look at these, you know, Scrabble tiles. Your initials, theirs could spell out both names, middle names. Remember, I said like dad, love. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can see because I know E A L E N T I. I see Valentine, for those of you that maybe met around Valentine's Day. But, you know, just really get deep into it. Pause it and focus. And let me know what you see that I don't see. I know that there's many more. 
and I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.